But you're ready for this new season. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button. We finna get right into it. Y'all know what's going on. Stop playing. stage of his career. Most of the fans believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is still elite. He's always been a well-rounded fighter. The focus, the aspiration remains on the UFC world title. But a lot of wars in this guy's career, of course, with Yoel Romero and others back in the day. How much fun is left in the dog? we we'll find out right now as Robert Whittaker tries to get off to a good start. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Fast pace here in the early going. Big right hand. Oh, huge left. That one landed, yep. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on the full no, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Nice kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, big left. Lock that punch. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Sean Strickland. Drives the shit into the ribs. Great body kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Whitaker's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. I thought I had him, dude. That was good. Holy he was good. Yeah, I didn't kill him. Just a relentless effort yeah, out of this fighter here fight. tonight. The ref had no I thought I was going to be able to get him. In, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Damn, I feel comfortable. I gotta be the Bobby with huh? It's time. I gotta get a win over Sean. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and as humbly as he could put it, Sean Strickland believes he has every advantage in this particular matchup. He is convicted that if this fight goes to the ground, he will be the stronger man. Also believes he can run some clock in the clinch if need be, given his opponent's obvious striking acumen. But Strickland is no slouch there as well. And there are many reasons why Sean Strickland, methodically over the last four or five years, has built himself into one of the very best middleweights on the planet. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Another punch to the head. Some more output in this really going. Mm. And they are exchanging leather early. That leg can hurt. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big right hand. of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Under three minutes to go in round one. Strickland gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. <laughs> Huge shots loaded on both sides. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And now a left. What a fight. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Clean with the right hook. Strickland's bleeding from the mouth now. And... She might have shot his blood. Oh, big elbow. Hands high, hands high. Just out of the range with that right hand. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, man, is that a hard inside leg kick. 30 seconds to go in this one. Nice liver shot lands. Shimaev's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Mm -hmm. Very close run. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the end of the round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. <laughs> Shimaev's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Very fast leg kick lands. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Nice crack there. Shimaev's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Body shot, he just slept me. Wow. <laughs> Get out of here.
That wasn't even cool, bro. This dude just let me. I gotta get one with Shani. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, we get another look tonight <laughs> at the UFC middleweight contender, Sean Strickland. Gotta love the attitude. I mean, this man has an edge. There's no doubt about it. And not afraid to trash talk a little bit while the fight is going on. But rest assured, he has been a picture of focus this week. He understands the magnitude of this stylistic challenge. And he believes that if he can emerge victorious, he will be next in line for the middleweight title. Relax, relax. Can't take any of those. You better check. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Here it is. Right back on his legs. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, that it allows him to put forth this type of outputting pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Like he got tagged a couple times there up top. Curtis gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. It won't take many of those. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, beautiful jab there by the action man, Chris Curtis. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he's ever to the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. He almost got me. That high kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Strickland. Timing and precision on point. Another punch lands. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the this discipline my game plan. to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. At least I've been trying to break a motherfucker down. I'm just taking my... Oh. I'm just taking my game plan. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. He's got him in his head. Second round, straight ahead. Heading back to the corner. I ain't getting back out three in a row. Strickland's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't. All right, so Jarzinho Rosenstrike versus Alistair Overeem. It is not. But let us look back at some of the replays from that round because there's a cut on the lip now that he's got to deal with. As long as I never got to see nothing like that again in my entire life, <laughs> I'm okay calling fights. And this cut is not that. But it was the perfect shot that landed in the right spot that opened up that cut on the lip. All right, so we will see if the cut man can do anything about that and for the fighter, try to raise his guard and be more sound defensively in this next round. Second round underway. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh! I'm not in the mood. I'm not losing to you Get up, bro. I'm in a bad mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Front kick by Strickland. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. 
Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring out. Oh, he should have got the right finish at that time. Curtis gets hit with a kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. I really could take him down. I really could beat him on the ground, but I'm, I'm gonna beat the. I'm gonna just wanna knock him out. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Curtis has got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Sean Strickland. That uppercut is good. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked... Oh, yeah! And he's back up. Just over two minutes now to go. Beautiful kick lands. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Unable to land the head kick there. I'm just having fun with him. Yeah, significantly yeah. near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. You ready to fight? You ready? The third the round underway. Round. Oh, a huge block there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Nice level take. Oh, right into mouth. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Hitting me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised me something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.
ready to fight. Let's turn around, ready. man. Let's do it. All right, so here we are back inside Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is as loud and as knowledgeable a crowd as we'll experience really all year on the UFC Roadshow. It's a great fight environment. The Bell Center is a fantastic venue. What type of performance are you going to give these great fans tonight? Nice one, two there. Herb Dean calls for the stand up there. Oh, she landed a solid punch there. Oh, combination strike. Oh, my goodness, Herb Dean. Now we're going. We might get a stoppage here soon. I had to get a free win. Always take a free win where you can get one. Holy smokes. Well, there is going to be no denying her now. A huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go. Round one of the third encounter between Jose Aldo and Max Holloway. Holloway feels like he has a lot of advantages in this matchup that are not just physical, and I know you agree with a lot of that. A lot of it is true. Max feels like he can push at a pace that Aldo just cannot keep up with. He feels he's longer. He feels he's tougher and has a lot less damage and mileage on his body than Jose Aldo has. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh! Oh, that's big left hand. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find home for that time. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Another big body kick lands. Good shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Holloway. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early. Really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to. Because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. So 31 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. I mean, that right hand landed square. Well, as usual, Max Holloway punches and bunches, putting it all here together. I'm just not sure how much more value he's Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. 
Well, this is what the fans came to see. Max Holloway at his best on the feet. Just an incredible combination of volume and accuracy tonight. I mean, it's just the volume that really does stand out about Max Holloway. Even in the Calvin Cater fight, the numbers that he put up are out, out of worldly. We don't see people strike at that rate. This guy can go so hard over the course of 25 minutes, and he will really drown his opponents. That's exactly what he's done tonight. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Under 20 seconds now to go. I think I see him laying on the right guy. You are on Robin Lay. He needs to He got that nice little weird space to him. All right, here we go with our second round. It is Max Holloway and Jose out. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? It just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing the moves. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man. And we have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances, which is why everybody loves Max Holloway. Do not back up. Let's go. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. Oh, Ooh, I land right into it. His I land right into the question. His opponent's chin held up. I was back. Championship status. On the receiving end of those types These of strikes. champions I made it. Champions get through adversity. Aldo gets caught by the inside leg kick. Fix my game plan. Both guys appear to land there. Uh -huh. Fix my game right, plan. Alright, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eyes. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that plan. last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I'm sticking my game for him. Oh, and he caught the kick. Leg attempt here. Nice job. The catch. And the head kick there is his hands. And maybe time to get the bonus check ready. This fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more fight to get the night. You cannot sit in this position. Oh, Give me that belt, boy. <laughs> Let's go. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go with two of the best middleweights and best strikers on planet Earth, Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira. Adesanya was expecting that this challenge would come around, and it seems to have taken his focus to an even higher level. It's taken his focus to a higher level, but I cannot imagine he would have expected it to happen this fast. Yeah. Pereira has stormed up the middleweight rankings and finds himself now staring across the octagon from a familiar foe. If there is a guy that can stand with the champion, it is Alex Pereira, and I'm excited to watch these two compete. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, nice right hand. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Boom! They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, my goodness. Just missed with the straight left hand. It's okay. The kick is there to the body. Three minutes to go. Lands the left punch, now followed by a right. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but he did he sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back on. and now his opponent's starting to swell. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure going. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Back and forth we go. So look at that, a cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice combination. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Crazy. Are you kidding me? So what a round it was. One guy gets knocked down, then the other fighter answers. I think both of them are going to You ready to fight? Ready. Do round it. two on the way. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, right here. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Right hook to the head block. He hurt him bad. Big right hand. He's hurt again. Oh, nice right in. Oh. They're so evenly matched. They're going tit for tat. Damage to the body here, another strike lands there. 
Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's hit. Yeah, know that. Holy. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just. That power was crazy. I don't know. They support you. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Well, if any fighter can go 10 hard fives, it's yeah, probably I'm Max Holloway. So let us see how he approaches the early portions of this round. This is a guy who has put forth statistically the most amazing striking performance I have ever seen against Calvin Cater back on Fight Island. You're getting punches and bunches for Max Holloway. Of that, you can be sure. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Mm. Nice level change with the body shot. Well, that combination's gonna test his chin. Nicely done. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, is that a good right hand? Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Beautiful strike. Crazy numbers round one. Job by him defensively there. Oh, a nice kick to the body there. He misses with the right hand. Twenty-six total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Missed with that attempt. Left by Allen. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice straight punch there. Oh, yeah, see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Now they separate. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover. Mm. Mm. I let my back down. Shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Bitch. Oh, 
bitch. Bitch, I'll kill you, you bitch, you bitch. Bitch, you killed my brother. I'm gonna beat you. Bitch, you killed my brother. You killed my brother, bitch. Let's go. I need to get a win. Hey, he was a good fight. He was tough as hell. Make sure you hit that like coming to that sub, but man, we're gonna get that belt back on right, the video. Replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bitch. Bitch. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest. Bitch, kill my brother. Kill my brother, bitch. Let's go. I didn't get a win. Hey, he was a good fight. He was Yeah, make sure you hit that like coming to that sub button, man. We're going to be back, y'all. See, we hit, we hit championship status already, man. Stop playing with us, man. We're going to be back with some more videos. Yeah.